Hey guys, it's me, Coolios. Here with the third episode of me losing my dignity trying to beat Terraria in master mode. And by the way, if you haven't seen the first two episodes, I would highly recommend you do so. Something I would also recommend you doing is subscribe. I've been going to see a therapist to figure some things out because I've been getting pretty reckless. And lately, I've been making some irrational decisions. And July 10th just seemed to be the per 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 Wake up, I'm about to say some Three virgins on the track, so for body stay sus Only fans can advance, I'm dunking my pace up Got these bands in my hands, bitch, I'm about to pay Yeah, I'm in a mess From the last video, the goal today is to beat Skeleton Man and raid his house We start off by going back to the Crimson and bully the brand of Cthulhu Until we give it childhood trauma a Reminder of how she tried to open to up to us feelings and how much of a coward she is We also tell her how her parents never loved her and never will We keep telling her this until she gets rid to shreds by my gun. Then her big brother came up to me and sent me to the Shadow Realm before I could ever get to his second phase. So I go back to my prenatal stage and finish up the elevator. I then have the sudden urge to go back to the underground jungle and show who's boss. In the jungle, I find the anglet of the wind, which when combined with the aglet will not only make you faster than your 6th grader friends, but they will make you as fast as the freshman running to the lunch line. But now that we have the crimson pickaxe, we can finally get hellstone. So we go mining, what a casual would say, and said we pull a waffle time and do the biggest mowing session there is. Afterwards, we make all the hellstone tools and do some fishing for buff. Potions. At this point, the gameplay and progression is really boring, so I decided to summon up the Deerclops because I have pre hard mode and game gear. And I was pretty confident until I realized he was invincible from afar, which means you have to be closer than six feet in order to deal damage. Which is a war crime considering we are living through a global pandemic. But all I can say is I got tossed. I got tossed like a salad with blood island dressing. And you might say, oh, when bosses die, they despawn and you can go about your day. That's what I thought too, till I couldn't travel through the pylon network because, and I quote, I had to defeat the current threat. So apparently he was still alive and thriving, but I proceeded to die. Not one time, not two times, not three times, or four times, or five, or- I'm gonna be real honest with you guys, I don't know how to count past five. Kept on dying to his stupid snow attack where he creates his own avalanche in the air that takes away half of your health. Honestly, I don't understand this fight, because you're supposed to be close, but when you get close to the point where you can actually deal damage, he becomes a waterbender and impales you with ten feet tall ice shards. But after dying... Oh, six. Wait, what's after six? Eight times! I haven't felt more humiliated dying eight times to a boss that you're supposed to beat before Queen Bee with pre hard mode endgame armor! I mean, it's only one idea that throws balls at you for goodness sake. <clears throat> so after beating Deer Clops, I cried. Then I went fishing for way too long in order to make some scrumptious steroid drug. Potions. Yeah, potions. In order to beat Skeleton Man. <laughs> Skelly boy. Then gathered an ungodly amount of fallen stars and an ungodly amount of time. I then proceed to make an arena to support Skeleton Man's demise when I then summon him up. All I did was throw down some spike balls and pummel him with specter arrows and while trying to avoid his scrawny little arms because I didn't want to get boned. Uh, get it? If you didn't, let me explain the comedy behind that joke. You see, Skeletron is a skeleton, and skeletons are made up of bones. Us humans are made up of 206, but Skeleton Man only has three. The reasoning behind the joke's humor is because I use the word bone in context of passing away. Which is funny because we're fighting a boss which is completely made up of bones. Oh, you stopped laughing? Maybe this is why people don't tell me jokes. Continue to run around in circles shooting him with our bow, when he least expects it. I get the power for God Almighty and launch stars right at his general vicinity. And because of his great fear, he crumbles in a pile of ash. Might as well box him up and put his name on it. The reason why that statement is comedic is because that's not it. To traverse the dungeon now that we have released the curse. And what we are looking for down there is the Cobalt Shield, Marisma, and the Purple Key. Which straight off the bat, I died. <laughs> the first chest I opened, I found the purple key. Then I died. 
which sucks because I have to run a full marathon in order to get back to the dungeon to be presented with the entrance to the Shadow Realm. Which is fine, because soon after I found the Cobalt Shield and the Marisma. And after that, I felt fulfilled in this world, because not only did I get all the things I wanted, I got another gun! I also crafted myself up the Knight's Edge, which consists of four swords. The Fiery Greatsword, the Marisma, the Blood Taker, and the Grass Sword. And I get the Super Cold Sword. That's it. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. That's pretty cool, if you did. But anyways, have a good day, and yeah. Okay, bye.